Hey guys, welcome back to some Forge to Fight. We have four new bots of the month. We have Sideswipe, RC, Jetfire, and Galvatron. So not too bad, honestly. I think for sure Jetfire is probably one of the better picks out of the four. Uh, but yeah, they're all pretty decent. So we're going to start on Prime Difficulty. No thanks to you. Chapter one, down the, down the road, back again, and being a friend. <laughs> so we're fighting Autobots this time for a change, and I'm gonna swap out B for Necrotronus. I do wanna use him in the final fight against RC, and we'll try just ripping through it as quickly as we can, so let us see what happens. Commander, I'm afraid I have a complicated and troubling task for you to carry out. You know how our timeline is more of a time looping scribble made with while falling down several hills? Well, Teletron is detecting that a few major timeline incidents that should occur are not occurring and you need to help. But here's the catch. There is one big event to go to first. An event so big it's eclipsing other events. We need to make it happen even if we don't like it. And by we, I mean you need to ensure that Galvatron sends back a golden disc to a past version of Megatron. But good news, our comms are also having interference so I can communicate to the Autobots what, the, what your mission is. I call that good news because I was about to say that doesn't sound like good news, <laughs> but I call that good news because if I say what kind of news it really is, Teletron censors my language in this broadcast. Oh, is that hinting at something? If it's good news? Hmm. I'm not getting my hopes up though, guys, and <laughs> neither should you for this game. Let's see, evade range, and we have prime boost, so just evade range on this lane shouldn't be too bad. We have a Prowl, followed by a Megatronus. Uh, okay, all right. <clears throat> I've been so busy with work, guys, and not only that, they changed my schedule at work, so I'm no longer eight to five. Only on Fridays, I'm eight to five. I don't work on weekends, so Monday through Friday, but my schedule got changed nine to six and man that one hour difference like getting out at six it's it feels terrible like i get home i'm hungry i eat dinner and then you know i just chill for a little bit and before i know it like the time has gone and then it's you know time to go to bed so it's like my whole af my whole evening is like gone and i know it's like a one hour difference but I don't know. It's good though waking up early, or sorry, not early, later. I don't have to wake up at seven. I can wake up at eight to get ready. But yeah, I don't know. Just uh, this whole this whole past couple weeks has been weird in that regard, but we'll make it work. So yeah, these Forge to Fight videos will probably come out a little bit later than usual. I thought I got hit there, but the stun triggered, and I think the heavy passed right by me. And there we go, Megatronus is down. Honestly, Drift has always been like one of my favorite characters in the game. Like, I don't know, his moves, his specials, everything is just so quick and like fluid. Like everything just flows well with him. Let's see, we have Big Boy Hound. Let's switch over to Drift. And I think I have enough tier 5 essence guys for another rank 6 character, so if you guys have any suggestions, definitely not going to be doing anyone like Hound or any beam character ever again. But I think Brawlers I have enough, so I do... I wish I had enough of the Titan Fragments to be able to purchase Thundercracker, and I would totally take him up to rank 6, but... I don't, unfortunately, so if Kabam ever decides to drop another Energon uh, little offer that includes Titan Fragment Shards, or Titan Shards, I think, I think I'll think i be able to get them, but I don't know. Let's see. Megatron, Lobster Claw. Alright, he's on evade range, so there's one evade. Okay, it's timed, so it shouldn't be too bad. And 
And let's see. There we go. Oh, nope. He survived. <laughs> I think it was like 1 HP or 1% there that he survived with. That, that was pretty funny. But okay. Up next, we have Rhinox. I'm curious to see how Rhinox is going to look in, in the new Transformers movie next year. And there we go. All right. Not too bad. Next, we have a Sharkticon Brawler. Should be quick and easy. I'm gonna give it give it another go though, guys, with my with my uh, level 15 account. I haven't played it. <laughs> I said I was gonna play it, but I don't know, man. It's just something about starting over with this game, knowing there's no future for it. It's just that uh, I don't know. It's very there's no motivation there. I think that's what I think that's what it comes down to. Just no motivation. But I mean, can you can you blame me? Probably not. Let's see. All right, we have Ultra Magnus up next. So basically, just make sure the disc gets made and goes back in time. It's not our favorite thing, but it kind of unravels time if it doesn't happen. Marissa, Commander, you do realize you've been communicating on an open channel, yes? Guess that interference cleared right up, but if the whole team knew what was going on, I assume you're here to help? Far from it, I have assembled an emergency squad to cease any and all further time manipulation. See, this is really a, log a logistical problem then, because the real manipulation would be changing time, not ensuring it. Active participation would count as manipulation in my book. Uh, it seems we have a real time trolley here, trolley issue here, figuring out if we change the timelines and all. I'm not familiar with anyone by the name of Time Trolley but if they are part of this plan, I shall shut them down too. All right, Ultra Magnus, well then you will get shut down right here. He's on Energon Storm. All right, so as I pointed, pointed out in the past, Megatronus uh, just completely destroys that mod, the Energon Storm mod. And I'll see if I can, uh, mm, we'll probably kill him before then, but you guys will see. I take uh, I take no damage from the from the Energon Storm, but you'll see there on the left. Shock nullified. Shock nullified. Shock nullified. Shock nullified. Shock 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 shock. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. But uh, okay, there we go. We'll just finish them off there. As long as you're gaining power, one way or another, you're not gonna be uh, taking any damage. As after you get one bar of power, so Megatronus just works so well for that lane. If anyone is having issues. Ah, this is going terribly and we haven't even found Galvatron yet. Is this what being a Decepticon feels like? No wonder why they are cranky and angry all the time. Hey Marissa, Commander, what's this I hear about you running over Magnus with a Chrono Train? No, no, B. It was a time trolley and it was a thought experiment. You were experimenting with Magnus and helping the Decepticons? This seems like we're having a fundamental communication problem. Let's just settle down and sort this out. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's talk Let's talk it out. I'm all about talking. That's what I do best. He thinks he's being clever and stalling as he powers up his blaster. Make a run for it, Commander. Let's go. All right. What do we have? We have a Grimlock. We have a Cyclonus, a Ratchet, and a Sharkticon over here, who is on melee timed. So just gotta watch out, don't get hit, and we'll be good. So it sounds easy enough, so hopefully uh, we don't get smashed. That B though, I'm worried about the other lanes. He's gonna hurt, and he's probably on some like extra evade lane, but I think we'll be good. We have Necrotronus as well, which to this day, I don't even know if his evade preve uh, prevention actually works or not, so... I mean, I'll try him against B here, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Dude, how did that miss? Jeez. Oh, I had a little bit of lag there. It felt like it was lagging, I don't know. Next, we have Mirage, and then followed by Thundercracker. Quick and easy. So far, no issues with the melee. Uh, this melee lane, so I think we're okay. Cyclonus can also nullify it, so I'm not too worried about that. Dude, 6% from a block? That's actually pretty high. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm curious now to see how much damage I would actually take if this was, uh, you know, if it wasn't a block that I did. Alright, Thundercracker down. Up next we have, looks like, mm, I was gonna say Necrotronus, but no, that's the easy one. That's the easy lane. We'll go fight against Drift over here. Do Drift versus Drift. Always the fun mirror matches. One percent again, what the heck? <laughs> we keep getting that, man. Honestly, for the longest time, like a year ago, I felt like every single fight I was going up against, there was, uh, the enemy was surviving with like 1% HP. I was like, dude, this is 100% rigged or something. All right, we have critical timed on this one. I think, I think we'll give it to Prowl. I think it'll be, it'll be easier just power controlling Galvatron, just in case he gets, he gets lucky with a hit, like he did right there. Ow. Dude, I wonder if I can take Prowl up to rank 6. That would be pretty awesome. I don't know though if I have enough of those of the scout sparks. I actually might. Or drift. Drift would actually be really good too. Hmm. Genuinely curious now, let me see. Nope, alright, I have <laughs> I have nothing for Scout. Anything for Warrior? I do! Okay, we can actually do Drift. Oh, hmm. Considering it now. Maybe. We'll see, we'll see. I think I was blowing all of my tier 4 class spark crystal, or my sparks, on just leveling characters up to rank 5. Power control the shockwave before his signature triggers. And there we go, nice. Alright, on to B. B, this is really simple. Nemesis Prime has stopped ensuring timeline singularity and we have to step in. That means we'll need to ensure that large timeline shifting events take place as they are supposed to, even if we may not like them. So using the time rips reopened by the space bridges being altered to bring in Cliff Jumper from an isolated chronosphere. We're going to assist with Galvatron the reformatted form of Megatron as he sends information about himself to the past. <laughs> Remember when you started all that nonsense with this is really simple? Yeah? Well it wasn't. Shut this all down and stop being a buddy to the baddies. 
That's disappointing. Commander, help. Alright, before we fight, let's see what he's on. He's on melee timed, and then there's a big gap, and then we have a 20% chance to evade melee attacks. Also, su successfully landing the first ranged attack inflicts 100% of the opponent's current health as shock damage over 90 seconds. What? Is that new? I don't... It sounds new, unless I've never paid attention. <laughs> All right, let's see how we do here, though. Oh, there's evade. Necrotronus, you cannot prevent evasion worth a damn, dude. <laughs> I really don't think he works, man, when it comes to preventing evasions. So I, I don't know. Kabam, maybe take a look at it if you, if you have the time, perhaps. I know you guys are busy with Realm of Champions, but we got so many bugs on this game. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I swear the power is that this all seems straightforward in my head. This all seemed straightforward in my head when we started, Commander. But luckily you seem on board, right? Because you wouldn't be fighting alongside me if you had deep moral issues about the plan, yeah? You're right, it's probably for the best if we just keep quiet and stay on mission. And what mission is that exactly, Marissa? Because B just called in and said you wanted to tie Magnus to some time tracks over a bridge? Time trolley? Space bridge? I mean, he was kind of listening, I guess? Those were definitely words I used. If you can't explain yourself, maybe you shouldn't be leading the commander on a mission. I can explain just fine. If any one of you could actually listen, that'd make all the difference. Dude, it would be awesome if, like, Kabam actually did, like, stuff with some of this dialogue. I feel like they could you know, put some good content out with like new bots and stuff, but man. Yeah, just seeing everything just come to a halt a couple years ago was uh, so sad and terrible. All right, I don't think I'm gonna go down this lane, guys, because I hate these those lanes where it's just like resistances and it just, I, it makes the fights go by longer and they're not really that big of a challenge. Repair timed, all right, we'll just go down this one get to beat up cliff jumper for being such a terrible bot in the game all right necrotronus do do your thing even his ranged attacks man they're like they're like all over the place. Alright, Rhinox special 2 for the win. Not bad. Can we kill Soundwave before? Nope. I'm gonna challenge myself to beat the next bot as quickly as I can without them, uh, without the repair triggering a second time. I think we can do it with drift, maybe. Nope. <laughs> I'm taking way too long and I haven't even landed a hit.
All right, there we go. Another perfect in the bag. Are we almost there? Let's see. Nope. Mm. All right, let's go with Necro Tronus again. Or maybe I can do him. Take him up to uh, rank six. Even though he's not that good for me, in my opinion. Motor Master, all right. This is the cheat code right here, boys. I've never tried it, but honestly, I feel like it would be a huge challenge <laughs> to play as Motor Master and go up against a Cyclonus. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty hilarious. Just uh, can't even dash. Just slowly let the AI walk up to the enemy or, you know, counter a dash or something. Because, yeah. No! Okay, there we go. Nice, quick and easy. And here we have RC. Okay, fine. Explain it to me as simply as you can. Sigh. Timelines are falling apart. Big time stuff needs to happen. Some of that stuff is bad, but it's all important. So to ensure time plays out correctly, you want the commander to go out and assist the Decepticons with some goals. No, I need the commander to wait. Yeah, you got it. You actually got it. Fantastic. So you'll help? I absolutely will not. There is no way of knowing that the first experience of time was the way it was meant to be. But Teletron said it needs to play out. Chaos could take over. We don't know what will happen. That's your opinion. I say that every win we can take away from the Decepticons is a win for us. No, no. Your plan won't be happening. Alright, I obviously, I obviously need to think this over, but just in case I stay on this path, Commander, it may be an idea to make sure we have a clean getaway here. Alright. I was gonna play, yeah, I was gonna use Necrotronus against this RC, and I did not take a look at the other mods, <laughs> unfortunately, but range timed! Yeah, I was pretty sure that one was gonna be on there. Well, those hits really, really hurt. No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. RC just too OP, man. Alright guys, let's do it with Drift. Drift is always my key to taking down RC. He just, he always works. I don't know why, but like... With Drift, I have like an amazing like record against RC. He just always, always, always takes her down. Uh, but there you have it, guys. This new time slide complete golden gears. I wonder if it seems like they continued on from the previous one with Nemesis Prime, like the dialogue continued. So I'm curious if next in two weeks we'll get a continuation of this one with Marissa again i don't know i guess contemplating if they should go through with it and help galvatron or not so we'll see if they pick it up and if they continue talking about that but yeah uh have a good one guys stay safe and i'll catch you on the next forge to fight video